All right. Good Thursday afternoon. Um, super excited to be here today um, to be talking with you and sharing some thoughts around. Um, so you've just gotten a brand new customer and now it's time to try to turn that customer into a repeat customer. And I think um, there's been a lot of um, talk over the last year, year and a half, especially during the pandemic, the value of a customer. And I think as businesses, our thought process around not only gaining new customers, but more importantly, how do we keep, how do we keep those customers and how do we get those customers to come back and spend m more money with us over time? And I think one of the great inventions that has happened or one of the great technology advancements over the last few years is as consumers, how convenient it is for us to find new customers using apps like a Groupon or a DoorDash or a Thumbtack or Homevice or whatever the case might be. It's one place and they can connect us to um, lots and lots of businesses within our marketplace. The downfall is um, the, the fees that these marketplaces charge, um, and it doesn't matter if it's Facebook or it's Google, I think there's this real movement now, though, and businesses need to figure out how they can actually drive and extract more value out of that. Just because spending 25 30%, 40 50% sometimes of the initial revenue just for the cost of customer acquisition is high in most verticals. I think the really cool thing though to think about is we have this, all this talk about um, this other world, right? The virtual, all the virtual stuff that's going on, all of e-commerce, all of these other things that have happened, but still, Eight out, of, eight out of every ten dollars that we spend is local. It's spent within a few mile radius of, of where you're sitting today. And so I love this idea of thinking about, okay, I've gotten a brand new customer. Um, now, what am I going to do with that customer? How am I going to follow up with that customer? How am I going to get that customer to come back and spend more money with me? And um, it all comes down to um, it all comes down to, sorry, I was just looking, I got a text and I was wondering if I was, if I had volume. So anyway, um, it all comes down to how you treat that customer. So just don't expect that the customer is going to come back. Um, expect that they're not going to come back unless you do something. And I don't, I don't think it really matters the vertical. I don't think it matters if you're a restaurant, if you're a chiropractor, if you're a tanning salon, if you're a plumber, your car dealership, or whatever the case might be, don't expect no matter what you do um, in that face-to-face -face interaction that the customer is going to um, have any loyalty towards your business. You have to earn that loyalty and you have to do something in order to engage that customer, to remind them that you're still there and to bring them back in. And there's some really good stats around the even the the restaurant space. Um, just because you like a restaurant and you had a good experience today, it doesn't mean that you're going to tell anyone about it, and it doesn't mean that you're going to come back and to that same restaurant next week, next month, or or even a year from now. There's there's no guarantees, and so we as business owners need to earn um, earn their business. And let's don't earn their business through the same platform that brought them to us. Don't go, don't expect them to go into Facebook and then find you again. Um, don't expect them to go into DoorDash and find you again. Don't expect them to go to Google and to find you again. They may find somebody else. And so, um, so what I want to talk about today is just a couple of things. One is um, you as a business, and it doesn't matter the business you're in, you need to create a direct connection with your customer. You need to create a bond with your customer. You don't want them to be reliant on a third party to find you again. So let's assume that they're not coming back unless I create that, that direct relationship. So the first thing that you can do is um, get their feedback after a visit. And so feedback can be something as simple as 
using a platform like FreshLime or one of the other platforms to engage a customer after any type of transaction and ask them how you did today. Um, get them to leave you a, a review on on Facebook or Google or one of the other the other places, Yelp, um, which will help them think about the experience. It'll help them write down the experience and it actually will help build more loyalty. If they had a good experience, then it also helps your business buy more people out talking about about you. And we've seen this, we see this and we talk about it, about viral things, right? When someone has a really good experience or something happens, they tell other people about it and then they tell people about it and you get this whole viral effect. And um, I've watched this happen over the last um, couple months with an app that I'm using, how they've gotten this viral effect going on and um, they've expanded to hundreds of thousands of users over a very short period of time is because there's so many people out talking about it and um, and it maybe it's because it was something new, maybe it was something different, um, but but they're able to accomplish something and grow so rapidly because they get so many people talking about it. So if the first thing that you do as a business is to get feedback from the customer, that's going to help one bring and build more loyalty with that customer. Two, it makes your business look better. So, so if you don't do anything else, and the, the only thing you're using text for is to get people to leave your reviews, you're going to be one step ahead. Second thing is, um, make sure that you have permission to talk to that customer, to talk to that consumer, to re-engage that consumer, um, and have a direct connection with that consumer. We talked about this in the last two months or so, um, creating those pathways where you can get customers to basically say, yes, I want offers from um, Stretch Labs. I want offers from Malawi's Pizza. I want offers from um, Barrett's Pest Control. Whatever the case might be, um, you need permission to send those offers and to send, send those messages to the customer. By opening up these first two doors, um, first getting them to leave you feedback, tell you how their visit was, telling other people about it through Google, Facebook, Yelp, or whatever, um, and then second, getting permission to actually send them additional offers in the future, then you're actually sidestepping that first introduction point. You're getting rid of the middleman, get rid of the the Groupon or the DoorDash or the Facebook or the Google or however they found you in the first place, um, push them out of the way and build that direct relationship. And you do that by getting their permission to um, allow you to send them notifications, to allow you to send them special offers. So when it's, it's slow on a Tuesday afternoon at the candy store, um, you have a list that you're building and you have a growing customer base that you can engage immediately to improve your outlook for that day. Um, I think back uh, a number of years ago when I had uh, a number of retail um, sunglass stores, obviously it's they're a little bit more expensive, so maybe it's more of a considered purchase, but today's technology even 13 or 14 years ago would have been um, incredibly productive um, in helping us grow our business versus getting the radio station down there to sit outside and run promotions to get people to come in um, into the store. Being able to utilize that and leverage all of that to get those customers back over and over and over and over again um, would be um, would have been awesome. Um, we just weren't quite there in 2007. 2006, um, and it's really bef before the the iPhone and uh, before the modern technology that we've that we've had today. And so, um, so if you do these things, though, 100%, um, you will see your business grow in a different way. Your most profitable customers are not your first time customer. Your most profitable customer is not your repeat customer. Your most profitable customers are going to be your loyal customers that utilize you over and over and over again. 
it may take getting a customer back into your restaurant three or four times before they become a loyal customer. It may take getting someone into your candy store three or four times to get them to be a, a loyal customer. But once you have that loyalty, um, that loyalty is actually going to not only pay dividends with that customer, but they're more, much more likely to um, share with others and talk about you more and to talk about those experiences. Um, but you as a business owner can't expect that that's going to happen on its own. It's not. We have too many distractions today. And there's too many, um, not only distractions, but there's just too many places for us to find new offers and new businesses and and so um so consumers are all over the place and and ultimately at the end of the day if you treat the customer great when they're in front of you awesome job you're doing a you're doing a good job doing that but but again that's not the thing that's going to bring them back um the reason that that and I'm not picking on DoorDash by any means. I mean, I use DoorDash, but the reason that they're that they're so they make so much money is because they have direct connection into millions and millions of consumers. If I don't utilize the app for a few days, they may send me an offer, they may send me a notification that pops up on my phone saying, "Hey, you've not used DoorDash in a while." Um you've not used this app in a while, you've not used it for a few days, or here's an offer, or here's a promotion, they're interacting with me and putting themselves in front of me on the device that I have sitting here in front of me. As we've been sitting here um, for the last um, 12 minutes, um, I've had three or four notifications on my phones of different things, and so um, those notifications become super, super important, but you as a, you as a, a business, if you expect DoorDash to go promote your business, if you expect Home Advisor to go promote your business, if you expect Google to go promote your business to get repeat business, they want your ad dollars. They want to grow their revenue. Um, and so, yes, their platforms to actually help you, but you don't want a middle guy in standing at the door taking 20 or 30 or 40 percent of the revenue every time a cust every time they bring the same person back over and over and over again that direct connection is where the dollars are that's that direct connection is where you are going to be more most profitable that's where your business is going to to change and evolve when you can get rid of the middleman utilize advertising to get new people in the door utilize direct connection to get those customers back over and over and over again so if you don't remember anything else from today i would think about two things one is get feedback from your customers right after they come and visit you and i mean right after they come don't send them a notice in two weeks saying hey it was great seeing you like two weeks ago can you go send me a review how did i do send it to them immediately use a platform like fresh lime to get that out there immediately um, or within a very reasonable amount of time because that's when that experience is going to be freshest for them second is get their permission to actually send them um, notifications text messages they're th you're not going to have an app that they're going to download i don't care who you are i mean most businesses are not going to ever have an an app like a DoorDash or a Thumbtack or Home Advisor or Google or Facebook. Most of us don't have that um, that ability to have something that is going to be on millions of people's phones. But what you do have is there's already an app on every phone in North America and it's called texting, SMS, messenger. It's on every phone. So you have the same ability to send notifications, to send coupons, to send messages. You just have to get the customer's permission. If the customer had a good experience, they've left you feedback, and who doesn't want an offer? Why would, why would rather than sp spending 20 or 30 percent of your revenue on a marketplace to bring that same customer back, why not pass those savings on to the customer? 
give me the savings and I'm going to come back and be more loyal to you. Get me in there three or four times and I become a loyal customer and then you don't have to send me offers anymore. You're my favorite place. You're my favorite pizza place. You're my favorite um, sushi restaurant. Whatever the case might be, I'm going to go frequent that more often. And because it's it's built on on the trust relationship that we have and and yes you can you can incentivize me to come back in by giving me um an offer reminding me um hey you've not been in tsunami for a while here's a ten dollar off coupon or a free roll on tuesdays or whatever the case might be to get me back in there again and so so again um as we close out here um get feedback from your customers that's a way to communicate with them. Get opt-ins from your customers, and I'm not and I'm not saying that it needs to be an, just an email opt-in. Today, you need a text opt-in. You need to be able to send them notifications directly on the phone that they have in their pocket. That's going to be your quickest avenue to growing your business. And then don't abuse that relationship. Don't send them an offer. I can tell you the car wash across the street. Um, two to three times a week, um, they'll send a text message. Um, hey, come in for two dollars off. Come in for three dollars off. Um, and so that's the best way to get the customer to turn you off and to never turn you back on is to send them too much. So don't abuse that relationship, but utilize it because the consumer expects it, and they expect it, and they want to do business with you. They just need a little um, nudging from time to time. So. Um, go out and have a great day. Um, and if we can ha help you at Freshlime, go to freshlime.com or, um, or just message us directly. And we would be happy to share some of the things that we're doing to help other businesses like yours succeed in today's marketplace and to really, really thrive. And this is a great time to thrive and build those key relationships that are going to be important to you um, next week, next month, and um, for the, the, the near future to come. So let us help you build that and grow your business, and we can grow together. Um, again, thanks. Go out and have a great day. Cheers. Bye.